Hi, I'm Brian with Pioneer Builders. Today I'm going to talk to you about building science recipes. Specifically, the scope of work that we're working on today is what in the world do you do behind a fiberglass tub shower? Let me show you what we're going to do. What is the problem that we're trying to solve? Basically, there's going to be a fiberglass enclosure here, and once that's installed, we're at the rough plumbing phase, we will never be able to put an air barrier over this insulation. So step one, you want to put your insulation in. We had a company do that. In this case, we're using uh, Rockwool Comfort Bat. Gives you a nice high R value. Uh, it is just really an amazing product. Now come in closer and I'll show you what we'll use for our air barrier. This is the Sega Myrex. Now here's just a little nomenclature thing that helps me or a mnemonic. My vest is what you use on the outside. Vest is something you wear. So anyway, that helps me. My Rex is what we're going to put on here first. On the studs, we're going to use their Twinet or Twinet product. That's going to go on here. Actually, sorry, let me back up. This is going on first. Then we're putting this on. This is like a double-sided tape. So that way we don't have to hammer tack or use any kind of fasteners to puncture this membrane. And then for the seams, we're going to use the Reson. All right, let's go ahead and get it installed. Step one, and I've already installed one of the strips here of that double-sided tape, is just to come up with a measurement so that I can be a little bit faster. So I'm just gonna figure 77 inches, and I need three more of those. You know, this is the first time that we've done this assembly, and I think it's pretty awesome. However, what I'm hoping part of what you find value in my channel is that we try things different ways so that when you do this on your project, you're not reinventing the wheel. So, what Greg and I were thinking is it might make sense to start top down. And lo and behold, it absolutely does. So much faster, at least depending on the wall that you're at, to consider going top down. Of course, if I really wanted to do this great, I would be having my wife do it because she used to do drywall taping with her dad she was basically an artist with tape. So you might remember my video that I did before on uh, balloon framing, kind of a, another building science recipe there. Oh boy, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna try to roll this back up while I'm talking. Uh, anyway, the membrane at the bottom is the Stego crawl space, uh, 10 mil membrane that we used. And so now we're kind of tying everything together. This is just a special air sealing detail. Yeah, that's uh, maybe a little embarrassing that I dropped that, but I think we're okay. Again, if my wife was here, none of this would have happened. All right, but it is IRL, as my son would say, in real life. Okay, and I'm going to try to overlap that for continuity's sake. I'm going to cut this a little bit long because it's going to kind of bridge this gap here. All right, now the next thing that we need to do, I'm going to cut a little strip over there. Now we're going to work on getting the release paper off. All right, a couple of lessons learned. You might notice I put my glasses on. I needed to be a little bit more detailed. Uh, it's nice to be able to see. The other thing, if you come in close, you want to kind of plan ahead for your overlaps with this stuff, just to make it a little bit easier. Um, or peel part of your vertical before you put a horizontal. Bottom line, you'll be able to figure it out. But again, just trying to let you know some of the little things that Greg and I are learning as we go along here. All right, so we are really close with the width of this membrane to what the width on the room is. So we're gonna go with that and install it vertically. And we're at 78 inches. So just rolling it out. This is, as you can tell, my first real attempt working with this. So 78 inches is basically going to be at this plus mark. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to kind of freehand this. Uh, 
And now that I know my mark, if I want, I could actually, I'm bringing it over to this line that happens to be on the Huber Advantech sheathing. It doesn't go all the way, but it's pretty close. And now I've got my seam. And I can just kind of follow that along. Clean that up a little. And now we can go over and install it. Now you wanna make sure that you put the word side out. And this is a pretty cool product. You can literally feel that the, the material's different on one side or the other. So when it comes to how you're gonna be controlling your vapor, you wanna be sure that you're putting your word side out. Okay, so let's see how this guy goes. First time trying it. We were just a little bit not wide enough, so we're cutting a couple more strips using the Tweenet over on the Myrex, and then uh, you'll see the next step, which is gonna be installing the Reson tape. All right, you guys are seeing me just kinda ad hocing this, first time doing it. This is the Reson tape. So this was item number three in our building science recipes. I'm gonna go ahead and go horizontal first. I will tell you that this is some extremely sticky stuff. All right, so trying to think ahead a little bit more in terms of what my seams are like with the taping. So this is just to ensure that everything is air sealed properly. And if I did this all the time, no doubt I would be faster and more efficient, but it's the first time. If you guys have any techniques or suggestions in the bottom uh, at the end of the video, let me know what you think. So there you have it. As uh, the old Dirk Pitt book that I read said, she ain't pretty, but she sure is ugly. And by that, I do not mean the materials themselves. The installation could probably look better. Anyway, so that brings us to the end of our video, Building Science Recipes, how to air seal behind a fiberglass tub shower. First time Greg and I have done this. I think it's gonna become our standard detail. Drop a comment below. Let me know if you have a different solution. Some people do drywall behind it, but this buys us an extra half an inch by doing that. The tub shower is like 32 inches, 30 inches for toilet, and it gives us a full 72 inch double vanity with a bank of drawers in the middle. Pretty nice, so on the design side, when you're able to limit the depth on your building science assemblies, it gives you more freedom when it comes to the functionality and the architecture inside your building. And really, isn't that part of maybe the main reason why we're doing this? It's to think about the people who will live here they're never gonna know that this happened unless they watch the video, but it can actually make them have easier lives. You got three kids living up here. Two people can use the sinks at the same time. Kinda cool. We built this house quite a few times and this is the first time we'll be able to get away with having a double vanity. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me over on Instagram, at Pioneer Builders Inc. Now go build something.